thus far. And if we go in the flow, it will be by God's grace. Thank you God for traveling grace and these holiday seasons, people coming in, people going out, but praise the Lord, no calls and wrecks, or nobody losing their life. God is good. Amen. You can testify. There are wrecks still out there. But the Lord just guided us around. And I want to praise the Lord for the technological seen and unseen danger. And always remember, no matter what's going on in your life, it's always a great time to praise the Lord. Amen. On last Sunday, we started a new series to finish out the year called Lessons for the New Year. Mm -hmm. And on last Sunday, we found out that we need to put first things first. Mm -hmm. On this morning, turn with me to Romans wow. chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. We'll be looking at verses 19 through 21. Romans chapter 12, verses 19 through 21. Romans 12, verses 19 through 21, and it reads, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather be a place of to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. For in doing so, thou shalt be coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Mm -hmm. Let the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Amen. Just for a little while, I'd like to speak from the top of rules of engagement. Rules of engagement. For most of us, we have been in positions and in places where we have been governed by rules. For most of us, when we started on the job, they didn't just go throw you on the grill. They just didn't go put the hammer in the hand. You have to sit in the back room the first day and watch tapes mm -hmm. so they can teach you how to do things their way. Yeah. Now, you may have worked at Burger King and McDonald's, <laughs> but you can testify they don't do things the same way. Even though the finished product might be a burger, the way we get there is two different ways. Yeah. When we go to be a teacher or go into a factory, they're going to have to put you somewhere so they can teach you how they do things their way. Uh -huh. But in, in, in battle, they call it rules of engagement. Uh -huh. Where they tell you things you should do and should do to make sure that the war or the battle is won the right way. Because there are things called espionage and spies that mess up some stuff. So that's why they teach you what to look for, how to do it, where to do it, so you'll know the rules of engagement. Here in Romans chapter 12, verses 19 through 21, we find the rules of engagement for our enemies. Say it one time. 19 through 21, Romans 12, we find the rules of engagement for our enemies. And the rule of engagement from the world standard is an eye for an eye, two for a tooth. You hit me, I hit you. But here in the text, Christ is saying, for those that you consider an enemy, do good to them. Right. Mother says, we grew up saying, keep your friends close, uh -huh. keep the enemies closer. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how true or untrue that statement is, but here in the text, it says that if you have an enemy, if they do bad by you, do good by them. Uh -huh. yeah. And you want to know how you do that? If you know they don't like you, you see them all want to speak anyway. When they try to cut you in line, just go and get your spot. But Christ just said, if you do good to them, you put them in my hands. That's what verse 19 says. It says, give them the love of them, not to say, but rather give place to wrath. We don't have wrath. God has wrath. 
And then, if you do what God said, uh, we just read in uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 11, uh, for folks have already been done wrong before you. Yeah. Christ got you. Yeah. That was one of the, the tags I was going to put on the text. Uh, God got our back. Yeah. Because you are being persecuted, tested, done wrong, wrong because you're doing what's right. Yeah. It's the you get in the bad places because you're doing the right thing. Yeah. Make sure that you're in bad places for doing the right thing. Because if you're in a bad place because you're doing bad stuff, that Christ ain't coming. All right. Then, oh, God, I'll see vengeance in mind, but you're out here lying. <laughs> Christ ain't came out here to protect your life. But if you're out here doing what thus said the Lord or somebody wrong, you, you ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to lose no sleep, and this is a good lesson going into the new year, because some of y'all been fighting your own battles. And Christ's word said the battle is not yours. Huh? It's the Lord's, but the only way you can get in a fight, you got to do it right. All right, all right, all right. That's a new model right there. If you want to get in a fight, you got to do it right. Because I'm here to tell you, God will fight your battles. When you cry, he'll fight. When they took your name all up and down the highway, he'll fight. Yeah. Whether it's the truth or the rumor, you got to watch how you treat God's children. Because uh -huh. yeah. how you feel when somebody do something to your child? Uh -huh. uh, the people that pull up in the school, uh -huh. run up in the personal office, whether they're right or wrong, that's mine. Right. Right. You know he's a little healthy. <laughs> but he's your little healthy. <laughs> And can't nobody talk about it but me. Yeah. How do you think Christ feel oh. when, when you turn the other cheek? How do you think Christ feel when, when you did right with old Ruben Spike the usual? How do you think Christ feel? Yeah. So if you keep walking and walking right, these are the rules of engagement. If you do it, God will step in. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you, God hands the heart of yours. Yeah. If, if you creep in the places where you can come and go to jail, you got to put it in God's hands. But you got to follow the rules of engagement. Yeah. Yeah. Because God is not only going to step in you, it's the only doing what he said. Yeah. You can't get out there and blow it miserably then think God's going to come in and clean it up. No, some stuff we receive is a consequence or, or, or some fruit that we put down years ago. Because if you plant it, it's got to come up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't call the Lord and Lord mess around and do a flashback in your mind. You never win. And all you can do is walk in your face and say, Lord, I'm sorry, because some stuff is a consequence for our actions. But some stuff we go through, we're being persecuted for doing what thus said the Lord. And if you follow those lines, God will speak up, he will step up, and he will show out, because that's what he said he'll do. Is there anybody here that can believe that God will do what he said he'll do? I ain't just talking about name and claim and all and call it, and trap and red price said, if you're weak for a night, Joy comes in the morning. He said, You seek me first. I give you all your Adam. If you mess up, doing the right thing, I said, Yeah. yeah. Vengeance is mine. Mm -hmm. Say it to the Lord. I love it. We, we got a God that'll fight. One thing the United States, the, the modern world, is trying to make our God do something soft. Like he, he just a Look boy in the back that won't do that. We serve a warrior. Yeah. We serve a God that has fought and won a many a battle. And he ain't scared to fight towards for you if you're in the right place. Yeah. We don't want to serve a God of blessings. We serve a God of wrath. Yeah. We serve a God that when, when it's over with, he's going to come down here and burn all this stuff up because he's just waiting. Mm -hmm. don't, 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 be, don't be fooled. Yeah. Price of fight. And you do know about that, friend, that you take somewhere and stuff get a little heated, you tell somebody, hey, 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 this one here ain't the one. All right. I want to chill out, because this one here to fight. Yeah. All you're trying to do is save that person, and so y'all ain't got to go run it out wherever y'all at, because you know this person ain't scared. Uh -huh. And we serve a God that ain't scared. Yeah. He ain't scared of your troubles. He ain't scared of your battles. He ain't scared of your enemies. He ain't scared of your hard times because he's all powerful. He's all good. He can do anything but fail. All right. But it's three things we got to look at going these rules of engagement. 
There's three things we must look at with these rules of the cave. First thing we must look at, you have to accept that there will be opposition. You have to accept that there will be opposition. Going into this new year, go ahead and, and, and go ahead and put this in your spirit and you can write it on your mirror. Everybody is not going to like you. You got people committing suicides and taking overdoses and hanging themselves because don't nobody like them. So what? Everybody not going to like you. For some reasons, you can never change. If some people don't like you, don't even know your name. I don't like who's son just because we got dreads. Don't know the battle. Ain't had no conversation with it. Could be one of the sweetest, more amenable persons you've ever seen in your life. But you cut them out before you find out what they was like. Don't be upset. Just smile and go on about your business. Because if you ain't getting nothing to them, you guys add it. This is my, one of my favorite sayings. If you don't do anything out of ill will or ill intent, God will fight your battle. If, 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 if you did something to somebody by mistake and you made them mad and they're not big enough to come talk to you, God not going to hold you today. Because you didn't do it, I know he will. You got to be strong enough in yourself to know that everybody ain't going to like you. And guess what? Stop trying to make everybody like you. You right here selling yourself short, dead in your life. For somebody else to like you, let your light shine before me so they can see your good work and glorify God. Don't give yourself there for nobody. All right, all right, God. Hey, I apologize. I'm going to wait until God got for me. And if you get mad because my light shine, you better put some shades on because I ain't turning it down. You got to be okay with being unliked. This social media crap got y'all think everybody's supposed to like y'all, even the people that hit like don't like you. All right, then. They just try to keep getting likes on your post and keep coming on their feet. Uh-huh. Yeah. I ain't telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. And it's, look, did anybody like Jesus? No. Don't worry, I'll wait. He's the savior of the world. Uh-huh. He has all power in his hand. And he has somebody look him in his face and slap him and pluck his beard. Yeah. Spit on him. And you worried about getting four likes on Facebook, turn Facebook off. Mm-hmm. If it's gonna put you at a point to where you're not happy with yourself, you look how you know those folks got filters. You know they went Mary Kate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know they just left the shop. And 97% was in their head, they things. That's it. <laughs> Brian's face, Lash's face. Body thing, and you said you're gonna kill yourself with somebody that's a Barbie doll. Uh-huh. <laughs> there will be opposition. All right. There are going to be people who do not like you. And it's okay. And see, it's a little easier for us older generation because we was taught to be okay by ourselves. Uh-huh. This new generation, they even got fights on the cartoons. <laughs> Some may not see it. One big one was uh, Pippa Pig. <laughs> Pippa Pig called her home there and asked her because she wants to. And look, I said, I've never tried before. She said, just put your look together and blow. Pippa been trying the whole show ain't got it. <laughs> the little girl whistled the first time and Pippa hung the phone up on <laughs> This is how I'm showing you. How are you going to teach kids to give up on somebody just because they got their faster? Oh. You never watch this. So folks don't like you because they think this should be where you are. Mm-hmm. I'm smarter. I'm prettier. Yeah. I went to a little school, but baby, I got God on my side. I got favor on my life. Yeah. And they make that. But it's for me you don't have yeah. opposition. All right. The reason why I know the thing they say, uh, therefore, if they're afraid, hunger. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, mm-hmm. and there's no way for you to have an enemy unless they're opposed to something that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Because if they was on side with you, they'd be an ally. They'd be an ally. But they don't see it the way you see it, now they become the opposition. Mm-hmm. And 
saying, you got to be prepared for it because it's coming. And if you got a hundred percent light rating, something right. Uh-huh. If everybody you pay like you, you ain't going somewhere. <laughs> or you're conforming to everybody's picture of you. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm quoting Michael McFarland. Throw yourself in bags and knees out. If that ain't what you want on your plate, leave me on the table. <laughs> because some people will put you on their plate just so other people can't be friends with you. Yeah. They'll go say stuff about you that are no untrue just so somebody else won't like you so they can try to hold you to themselves. Yeah. And that's when you go to the grocery like, girl, you didn't hear what her? Do you know what she said about you? Uh, yeah. Only because they see your light. People are not worried about where you are. They know your light can get your mother. Uh, so they're going to do two, two things. Get in the car to which you ride to success or they can go in the, uh, in the, in the, in, on the ditch and they try to shoot you down from where they are. Yeah. That's why God gives us a spirit of discernment. Uh-huh. I don't know who I'm talking to, but whatever you think it is true, it's quite like a duck. It's wilding like a duck. And guess what? It's somebody that you really, really like. It's somebody you really thought was in your corner. Baby, what they're doing is putting you down and trying to tell your life what you're going to have opposition. And it's okay. We all got it. But the Bible says even though you got it, when you see them in the store, hey, God, how you doing? Know? That ain't the infected for the coals over here. Because you already know how they feel about you. But I'm not here to uh, be, I'm not here to be judged by how you treat me. I'm here to be judged by how I treat you. Right. And we get so busy about why we're so worried about how people treat us. How you treat me? Uh-huh. And if you treat me all right, you like you are alright with God, you keep on waking up, going to work, come home, go to sleep, go up, go to work, come home, go to sleep, and God will bless your life. Yeah. But you must accept there will be opposition. That's the first thing from Rules of the Day. You must accept that there will be opposition. Secondly, you have to do the unexpected. You have to do the unexpected. I can justify, I can put my hand. I ain't trying to be nobody that don't like me. If you thirsty don't like me, as my mama used to say, you better swallow your spit. <laughs> Because no man in the verse that he said what he's asking you to do was easy. Yeah. Nobody he said, oh, it's going to be okay for you to hug somebody that you don't try to stand in your back. He didn't say that. He said, just do it. Mm-hmm. Because God is not worried about your feelings. He's worried about, can you do what I told you to do? Mm-hmm. And I don't understand how we don't accept that from God, but what our parents did, we accepted it. Mm-hmm. But what we do, do as I say, and not as I do. Mama, why we got to do this because I said so? Uh-huh. And there was no more discussion after that. That's right. But when Christ tried to get to some very good, oh, I don't want to do that. I ain't got time for that. Just do it. And I promise you, if you do it, he'll bless your life. Uh-huh. And what he said, we weren't expecting. If, he said if it's home, if they're hungry, give them some food. Uh-huh. It's hard. I'm gonna just, like I said, I'm gonna love you push it to you about stuff that's gonna work overnight. Mm-hmm. That's why I call a faith walk. Mm-hmm. Now the faith sprints some of this stuff. Some of us can walk with the Lord 30, 40 years, and we still have a hard time doing it. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna continue to have a hard time doing it because you are flesh. Mm-hmm. And flesh wants to get you down. Mm-hmm. I, I can break y'all and bear shot say, you know how many times I talk about my talk about flesh now. Like, no, you can't do that. It don't look good if you pass a blood, bro. You can't do that. You had it good, you can't do that. And you got to talk. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. All right. Yeah. Because loving somebody that you know don't love you is hard. But guess who else does it? Christ. Uh-huh. Because if everybody loved Christ, we would have to see each other's lack of deal. If everybody loved Christ, we wouldn't have no murders. We wouldn't have no stealing. We wouldn't have no killing. But everybody don't like Christ. 
So you have to do the understanding. Because guess what? When you do that, the person that's against you is going to be like, why she talking to me like that? Hmm. I know she heard what I said. <laughs> now you got to walk through the grocery store scratching their head. And guess what you're doing? You're walking out smiling because you've done the just do. You've done what you're supposed to do. That's why he told Nicodemus, you must be born again because the first birth don't produce this stuff. The first birth don't, don't, don't give you the insight to like, now shh. The first birth put a mic in front of your mouth and say, say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. And at the same time, you're killing your witness. I know you're wrong. I don't care about telling you. I know only God who judge you. Mm -hmm. But Christ is not good here for us to judge. He put us to get a witness. Mm -hmm. And if you get enough knocks against your witness, ain't nobody believe you know the Lord. But when you can treat somebody right that treats you wrong, you ain't got to preach people see that. All right. Yes, let me stay right there. People know who don't like you. And when they see you being good to him, I don't know why he's doing that. Old boy, I'm going to rock with him like that. Because I'm not doing this for old boy. I'm doing this for Christ. And all that what you do for Christ. We are last. I ain't worried about no bank, no house, no car. All that what you do for Christ. we last. He ain't going to ask you how big your house was in the judgment. He ain't going to ask you how many friends you had in the judgment. He going to say, did you do what I tell you to do? That's the rules. Because God is going to do whatever he want to do 